Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Asia here, if this is your first time to my channel. If it is not your first time to my channel and you are returning, welcome back, girl. <laughs> We're using some new products today. Yeah, what did I use? What did I use? I don't even know what I'm doing this. I don't even know what I'm doing today. What am I doing today? As usual, I have broken this video up into timestamps. Timestamps are in the description box. You can click on whichever timestamp you would like to see, whichever portion of the video you would like, although it's funnier in its entirety. <laughs> I start out with skin prep. I move to my eyes. I do my face, my brows. Don't have to do lashes because I have lash extensions, lips, and then that's the end of the video. So I'm going to stop talking and hop right into it. For skin prep today, we decided, you know, because it, uh -huh, it's both of us. And some of you guys might have used this already. Um, I know that this company is getting really, really popular, gaining a lot of steam. They've done a lot of collaborations with Ipsy lately. But Pure Lease has a... Where'd it go? Where did the... Don't you hate that when you put something down and then you can't find it? I literally just had it. I don't know where it went. Hold on. Okay, so Pure Lease has the Watermelon Energizing 2-Minute Polishing Peel. I have had this for a while. It's my first time using it. Okay, so I love Pure Lease. My girls at Pure Lease, they know how much I love them. So many people were ragging on Kylie Jenner for having walnut scrub and there were so many um i'm not an esthetician but there were so many people that made a big issue about the walnut scrub this has little uh, fine they're they're not fine you can feel them exfoliant is it walnut seed shredded up uh is it walnut scrub i don't know but it has like this little these little fine things which i think helps and or aids with the polishing effect but how is that different from you know Kylie Jenner having the walnut shards in her thing I don't I don't really know and because I'm not an esthetician I'm not licensed in that area I'm not really sure but if you're careful about the things that you put on your face and you're careful about or you care about whether or not your face is getting micro tears then you might I don't I don't know if you would want to use this am, am I I love Purely so much. I just, I love them so much that I want to recommend that you use it before you decide. But then that would mean that we would have to do the same thing with Kylie Jenner. You can't just throw it to the side just because it's Kylie Jenner. So now I'm, I'm kind of rethinking everything that I thought. I don't know because I really like this. There's no heavy scent. Um, it sits on for two minutes. I feel like at the two minute mark, I could feel it. I, I could feel it like I was like okay uh, my skin felt clean so yeah I don't know gently resurfaces I felt like that I was kind of sad that I wasn't able to fully like you know what y'all like the washing it off part felt really good like as my time is getting closer it the directions say that I'm supposed to rinse this with water and pat dry it's great for everyday use I can't really rinse with water because of the um, lash extensions actually that's something i wanted to tell you guys like lash extensions y'all okay i love them i wake up i feel flawless although jonathan keeps asking me when i'm gonna take them off oh that's my timer hey. Hey. Okay, so lash extensions, while I love them, it's so easy to not have to put on lashes when I'm doing my face. The one thing I really do miss is really getting in good when I wash my face. I miss that so much. So I think because of that reason, like for that reason, I probably won't get lash extensions again. But I'm really glad that I tried it because, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> All right, let's go rinse this off and do the rest of our skincare. <laughs> oh you guys i rinsed it all off but i have these little like pebble things all over my face that could be because i'm not able to like you know like really wash it because of the falsies or the lash extensions but <laughs> oh, yeah. 
the massaging it in as it's you know with the water and as it's coming off felt really really good I really like that part so if you don't have it I would suggest trying it but I think that if you get ipsy one of these in a little miniature size comes in there too afterwards I went in with my kale tripeptide 5 vitamin C hyaluronic acid serum from youth to the people it's one of my favorite toners um, um, I'm sorry no I didn't do that I went in afterwards with my glow tonic to go from pixie I always use this this is like the gold standard then I went in with my youth to the people hyaluronic serum after that I sprayed my face with my youth to the people adaptogen soothe and hydrate activated mist and then finally I put on my watermelon pink juice moisturizer I let all of those products soak in for about 30 seconds to a minute before I moved on to the next step and then I started with the makeup application portion of this video I was going for a very light look I just wanted to be pretty and you know just cute just cute all right so I'm gonna stop talking I'm gonna let you guys see the makeup application portion and I will see you guys at the end of this video if you have not already done so make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in a little bit I would be so mad if I didn't. I don't think I recorded the face. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I don't think I, I just sat up here and did my whole face and didn't record it. Why wasn't it recording? I don't know. I don't know why did, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna finish, whatever. Okay, while I do my eyebrows, let me just tell y'all, just in case I, when I check the camera, the footage, and I find that I didn't record my face, I used, um, I think like, three two or three different concealers I just use the concealers on my face to brighten up my under eye area and um, and I'm gonna set my face with some Maybelline powder like the Maybelline fit me powder I like that powder for that like an everyday kind of look um, I also applied some of the milk makeup cream blush to my cheeks this one right here um, I like applying the cream blush first because it kind of gives me like a base for the powder blush to stick to and it lets my blush last a little bit longer. I'm really mad that I did not record the face part. Like, I I don't know what was happening. Like, and I was talking to y'all and everything. Like, y'all, my bad. Like, it was like when I started recording the brows, I was like, oh my God, I think I forgot the face. I forgot to hit record. So, I'm sorry. This face today is not that different from any other face. So, brows are done. And I'm just going to use the same brush that I used to smear out my concealer. I'm just going to use that in all of these areas right here. And then I'm going to go in with a slightly darker color to do the contour areas and lay my blush on top. I can't believe I did that. Like I legit can't believe I did that. I'm going to use this Bare Minerals blush because I feel like this blush needs a little bit of love, you know? You know what I haven't used in a really long time? ColourPop. I have not used their eyeshadow in a really long time, so maybe the next video I'll do like a ColourPop look. What do you guys think? Let me know. You got all weekend to think about it because another video is not coming up until Monday. So let me know and then maybe we can pop one out for next week, you know? What I just realized is that I don't have, oh yes I do, yes I do, yes I do, ooh ooh ooh, wait. I was gonna say I don't have like a contour powder color, but I do because I have the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. They always send me over these palettes and I love black, bleh, bleh, bleh. I love black radiance because they are an affordable drugstore brand and the quality is really, really good. I got more black radiance products coming to show you guys, but yeah, this stuff I love. No, I'm not switching my brushes. I'm gonna use the same brush that I use to put on my blush to put on all this other stuff and just tap on into here and get me a little bit of this sculpting powder. She about to be sculpted, y'all. Boom, look at that. We're just setting the face, right? We're just gonna we're just gonna set her so that she looks beautiful. That's right. And then grab a little bit of the contour to just kinda oh. Hmm. Who do I think I am? Like who? Although I'm gonna take some of it off of this brush because it's a little darker than I would like for it to be. And then just brush that upwards. I just, I don't want it to come too far. Like my face isn't that big to do all that. So I just kind of focus it right 
right there and I feel like right there really sculpts my face for me like the way that I want it to look um, I feel like contouring is one of those things where you know it's it's really not one size fits all and you really have to do it like to each person's bone structure it's just not a let me just draw these stripes everywhere because if I were to go like this or swipe it like you know my cheeks are there it just wouldn't look right for me so I kind of keep it concentrated right here and look at that Ooh, look at her what's she talking about who's she about to go see today I don't know but I need some color up underneath this eye because that is not cute hold on that I'm going to add just to make like my lower waterline pop a little bit. I'm going to add some of this. here's my face this Catrice Iman palette is beautiful I really really like it it was very easy to use all of the colors blended very well together the only thing that I noticed about this palette was the fallout there is much fallout with the shimmery colors I don't know why that happens like that happened in the Jackie Ina palette too like some of those shimmer colors in that palette just like this one like Laguna right here I put that on my lid space and that color had so much fallout that I had to spray the brush in order for it to lay onto my eye without falling down it didn't move once I sprayed it with something so I just put a little setting spray and then laid it on it also made the color like pop a little bit more but I what I'm really happy about with this palette is you know not only the fact that it's a palette that can work for my skin tone but black blacks are colors that I feel are really really hard colors for some brands to get right and this is really my first time trying Catrice but I feel like they did the black right you guys saw in the makeup application portion that I really didn't have a hard time you know really getting pigment and when I'm using a black color uh, I start really like lightly at first because I don't know if it's going to overpower my eye I don't want it to and so I start light and I build up I didn't want this look to be too dark so I use a very light hand when I put on the black but I was very happy that even with a little bit and I like beep, 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 barely touched it but like the little bit that I use gave me this and I love it I love it. it they did they did well with this black I would love to see this um, smoked out just to see how it looks all on its own you know um, but so far really like this um, really like this palette I didn't put a highlighter color underneath my brow today I don't know why I just didn't don't judge me judge your sister if you guys haven't tried Catrice I suggest you go and try it I don't know where it sold I got it at Beautycon so I'm not sure. I'm guessing that it might be in most drugstores. I'm not sure. Maybe it's in CVS. I'm going to go check today. As far as the face portion goes, I really super hope that when I check the footage, it's there. But if it's not, I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know what was happening. I got drunk off my apple juice. I was apple juice drunk and forgot to hit record. That's where we're going to end it. Oh, the lips. Okay, stop it. I was not prepared. All right. Look, I just try makeup. That's it. That's what I do. I try the makeup. I decided I pulled open my lip drawer and I was just going to use whatever I picked up first, whether it went or not. And I really like this. Like I'm feeling this pink blue shift, right? Like I wasn't expecting that much blue shift to come out of this pink bottle. There is blue shift when you see it. It's, it's holographic, pink and blue. 
I love it. The shift. Hey, I'm feeling it. I don't know why. I'm weird like that. If you're weird like that, you will like it too. It's Milani. You can find it in every single drugstore. Great job, Milani. And it feels like the lip gloss will stay on my lips, but we will see because I will be testing it out. If you guys have not done so already, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to leave you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.